In this tutorial I will show you how you can make this beautiful springtime cable sweater, so keep watching! I'm using for it cotton yarn, it's a um, regular cotton yarn, the recommended needle is 2mm between 2 and 3mm crochet hook, but I'm using a 3.5mm crochet hook. I, doesn't seem to focus my camera but it's believe me it's a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook you'll also find on um, on my blog and I will add the link in the description below you will find a great article which uh, will learn you how you can adapt this pattern and not only that this one to your gauge so if you want to use a thicker yarn you can do it so I'm working this uh, sweater in uh, two colors. I'm using uh, this light gray green for the main part of the sweater and the darker green, uh, olive green for the sleeves. We are working with both colors at the same time, uh, only for the yoke part because this is a top-down sweater. And then after separating the sleeves, you will work the body with the main color, the light green or other color that you choose, and the other one, uh, the sleeves with the other colors. Working with uh, two colors, uh, it won't be hard, but it's not easy as well. After this first round that we are making here, by the way, I'm not doing the tutorial for uh, the rib band. This uh, you'll have to do it at first. So the first round will be in the main color with this light green. And on the second one, we will start to uh, use the darker green also. And to make that, we will start uh, the round, the second round, on the right corner of the back side. We will do the increases with this light green, all the increases and only the stitches for the, um, the sleeves will be made with the other color. Now, this tutorial is for size S. I did here the foundation chain, you will have to chain 108 stitches. The same number of chains will be uh, for size M also, only that you'll have to uh, make more rows on the yoke. Now we have 32 stitches for front and back and 20 stitches for sleeves plus 4 more stitches for the corner. So I'm starting the row at the middle back, this first row. I made uh, 16 double crochet and in the next stitch uh, I uh, made the first corner, the increase. The increase um, is made with a double crochet, chain 2 and another double crochet. After the first corner we are doing 20 double crochet for the sleeve, for the first sleeve. Then again an increase in the next stitch. Then we will continue with the stitches for the front, 32 stitches. Then again the sleeve, 20 stitches and after the last corner, after the last increase, we will complete the back with the 16 stitches that we have, that we have left. Then as I said, uh, at the end of this round you'll cut the yarn and we will start the next round on the right corner of the back and we will insert the hook in the chain 2 space and starting the round with 5 chains. The first 3 are the uh, first double crochet of the increase, then chain 2 and another double crochet in the same chain 2 space. Then we will continue with the back, making the second corner and then you will. I will show you a little bit later how you can switch the colors. Now we are on the second round and uh, we are working on the front side and this is the side where we will do the cables. So I'm doing two double crochet after the corner and then we will do four back post double crochet. 
This is the line, the ribbed and prominent line that we have uh, before the first cable. If you saw the first part of the yoke that I showed you earlier. So now we are doing four front post double crochet. The main idea with this uh, cable motif on the front side is that you'll have to have uh, um, multiple of two stitches on the front side. After the first set of four back post double crochet, we are doing uh, one double crochet in the next two stitches. And now uh, we are uh, making the base for the cables. This is the first set of cables and we are doing eight back post double crochet. So I was saying that uh, you will need a multiple of two. The whole um, cable motif with all the um, uh, the both uh, rib that we have on one side and on the other, you will need 30 stitches. So after making the first corner, you'll uh, continue making the uh, stitches. Uh, so you have to um, count the stitches that you have on the front side, uh, minus the stitches that you need for the cables, and then the remaining stitches you are divided into just to know how many stitches uh, you have to do on the right and on the front after the uh, uh, increase and before the increase okay this is uh, if you are working with a different type of yarn a thicker one just to know how you can uh, you can do it after the first set of uh, cables we had uh, two double crochet and then again eight back post double crochet now I'm doing again two double crochet and now four back post double crochet. I made the uh, corner also, the, so after I finished the uh, four back post double crochet, I made two more stitches before the corner. Now I'm making the increase in the corner, so uh, double crochet, chain two, and on the second double crochet, let it partial, so don't finish it, because we will finish it with the second color, because now we are about to work the sleeves. The whole idea with working with colors, and it will be easier this way, is to use one skein uh, of yarn for each side, or to have a different uh, uh, skein, or if not, you can split a skein in half, doesn't matter you will use them anyway so you'll have uh, you will need one skein for each side to be easier you see now i finished the front so i let the yarn that i use for the front uh, apart now i'm working the sleeves the sleeve with the other color and then i will switch with the other skein working the back Yes, and every time when you are uh, finished working with one skein, you just um, move the skein from right to left, just to be sure that uh, your yarn is not uh, tangled or something like this, and to be easier to work with, with that. Now, after finishing the stitches for the sleeve, we are just joining with the third stitch of the starting chain, and turn. We are working on the back and front, on the wrong side and on the right side. If you want to work only on the right side, because we are working in rounds, in circular, and you can do that if you want, um, you won't have uh, rows in back post double crochet, only in front post double crochet. After turning, we just start the round with chain 3. This chain 3 count as a first stitch. And then we will continue with one double crochet in each stitch until we will get to the next corner. 
Before the next corner, we will change the color again because we are about to work the front side again. Okay, so here we are at the corner. So I'm making one last double crochet with the darker green. Not finishing it. I'm grabbing the lighter green and finish the double crochet with a lighter green. like so pull the yarn a little bit to just uh, tie it a little bit the last stitch and now we are doing the increase so one double crochet chain two and another double crochet you can grab the yarn uh, that we have here after changing the color and make the double crochet through it also just to be less visible this is the wrong side so it doesn't matter uh, this is the front side sorry so maybe you will want to look better but don't worry because the chain where you change the color won't be that visible now we are on the front side again and we will do some cables on this round so pay attention uh, we are doing first the stitches so simple double crochet until we get to the front uh, to the first set of four front post double crochet and here around this front post double crochet we will do front post double crochet so we are making here four front post double crochet this was the last one now in the next two stitches we have two normal double crochet we are doing two double crochet on the top of the previous round stitches and now the cables so we have here all eight front post double crochet the cables we are doing with triple crochet and we will skip the first four stitches and we are doing four front post triple crochet in the next four so i have here one two three and four and now what about cables it's basically a group of stitches that are crossed so now we have to turn back to the stitches that we skipped and to make another four uh, triple crochet in uh, those stitches and now to make the cables we will just do on this first cable let's say we will do the stitches behind the stitches that we already did so like this try to grab the stitches with your fingers to be more easier to see them this is the tricky part with the cables but believe me after a few rounds you will manage to uh, do them without a problem so we made one now yarn over twice behind the stitches that we already did going around the second stitch and making the second triple crochet now again the third one
And a fourth. So always when we are working the cables, the first set of cables will be with stitches crossing underneath. We will do the second set of four triple crochet behind the one that we already did. And you will see on the second cable here that we will do the stitches above the other ones. Yeah, so in front of other ones. We will start the cable the same, so skipping the first four stitches and in the next four we will do four triple crochet. And now we will uh, turn and make the stitches in the four stitches that we skipped. As I said on the first cable, we made it behind and now we will do it in front like this. And we will keep the same order. We are doing one uh, behind and one in front just to have the two cables in mirror. You can try to see how it looks if you are working in the same, uh, in the, the cables in the same direction. I don't think it will be a bad idea if you find it more easier to work them in front, for example. You can do both the same. Maybe it will look a little bit different, but uh, I don't see being such a big problem. And we are doing the last two stitches that we have here and basically the hardest part of this uh, this round is done with the, the stitches and also this is the first round from the set of four that we will have to repeat uh, to the end of uh, the sweater now after finishing the second cable we will have uh, two uh, simple double crochet work on the top of uh, the stitches from the previous round and then uh, the set of four front post double crochet Now making the stitches that we have uh, before corner, the double crochet that we have here, and then we will do the increasing corner, but remember not to finish the second uh, the second double crochet of the increase because you will have to finish it with uh, the darker green to change the color and work the sleeves sleep okay so not finishing it changing the color And now continue with the stitches for the sleeve. The first stitch that uh, we will do here with the second color, it will be the one um, in lighter green that we have from the previous round increase. Yeah, so pay attention not to forget that because otherwise you will have less stitches than, than we, we should. 
And now we continue to the end of the round, working the sleeves, then the back, and we will meet again to see at the end of the round how the round end and how we will work the next round on this front side. But first, let me show you one more time how we will change the color in the next corner. So I'm preparing the yarn for the back side. And because we are working on a front side and we don't want to have small uh, pieces of yarn showing uh, in this corner, here is another technique. Just grab your yarn from uh, front to behind and then pull it to through the loops that you have on your hook then we will do the increase and continuing working to the end of the round okay this is the end of the round i made the increase the last increase and now i'm joining with a slip stitch with the third uh, stitch of the starting chain Okay, and now um, another way to start the round because here if you are starting directly with chain 3 that means that the last stitch that we have in light green here will be also in light green and we need it to be in darker green. That's why slip stitch through the chain to space and start the round for, mm -hmm. from here and you'll start the round with chain 5 and then a double crochet in the same chain to space. Chain five, meaning uh, the first chain three is the first double crochet of the increase, then chain two and another double crochet. We will continue working as you see uh, until now, as, as you worked until now. And here we are on the front side again to see uh, how will uh, we have to work the next round. So we are working now on the wrong side. If you choose to work only on the right side, pay attention that the stitches would be in front post, not in back post as you, we are doing now. So now the first set of uh, four, we are doing four back post double crochet. Okay, so the first four. Now the two double crochet, single double crochet that we have here before the first cable. And now we are working back post double crochet on the stitches of the cable. We have these stitches here. So the one that are in back and the one that are in front. Pay attention at the position of the stitches. So here first we will have to work them first for, for the ones that are in front. So that are showing on the right side of our sweater. And then we will work the one that are behind. We are working also back post double crochet around those stitches. And now we will continue to work the one that are behind. So here was the first, now the second. And now the stitches, the two simple double crochet and we are getting to the next 
cable here we will work first because we are looking at the position of the stitches we are doing first back post double crochet over the stitches that we have behind I'm saying behind like we are looking uh, on the cross stitches that we have there Pay attention to grab all the stitches that you you have there. See that here the last one is not too visible, but it is there. So keep turning your work if you are not sure which stitch is next. To make sure that you are doing um, all the stitches. And now we will do back post double crochet on the stitches that are showing in, in uh, front. So on the right side of our sweater. Okay, and now the two double crochet that we have after the cables and uh, we have the set of four back post double crochet, then completing the front side and continuing to the end of the round in the same way as we did until now and we will meet again on the front side to see how we will work the next row so now we are working on the right side so it will be the same as the previous round only that this time we are working front post double crochet over the stitches that we have here. So now the first set of four front posts, double crochet this time. Then the two double crochet. And now the stitches uh, of the cable. Now it's easier to find the stitches because we already did one round so now it's easier to identify the stitches that we need to work first and we are doing front pose double crochet around those stitches. Now the one that are behind the first stitch it's still a little behind but you can uh, see them here so this is the first and we have four here I would love to see that you uh, you will try to make this sweater. Believe me, it is the first cable sweater that I'm doing, so um, I won't say that it's easy, but after a few rounds you'll figure out pretty fast how the stitches are working and uh, because we are every time we are working the cables well keep we are keeping the same direction and crossing the stitches so repeating the pattern it will be useful for you to just figure out the method that will help you to do this uh, cables easier or if you want you can uh, try first to exercise some cables and then uh, to start with this weather but actually um, 
Yes, the main um, the main problem here is not to lose stitches and to make the one that you that you should, mm -hmm. but uh, otherwise, uh, if you otherwise if you are uh, working, I don't know, crossing in the other direction or something like that, the stitches is not a problem. It won't look. Uh, uh, it won't look. Uh, I don't know, weird or like it was a, a mistake there. Okay, so I hope you'll have the courage to do that. Like I said, it was the first cable sweater that I'm, uh, I did, so why not? Why not to try it? Okay, so I did the cables now. We will continue with the two double crochet and then making the last set of four front bows double crochet. I continued the round and now we are again at the front side because this is the main part that needs to be, uh, I don't know, the rest of the sweater is just uh, in simple double crochet so you don't have to struggle too much to make it. Maybe with the colors, but uh, this is not such a big, uh, big deal, big deal. So now we are doing the same stitches, only that because we are working uh, on the wrong side, we are doing back post double crochet. And this is the last round uh, from the set of four that we will have to repeat for the entire sweater until we are getting to the end. So this... Uh, four rounds are repeating is the repeated pattern so the first is uh, first round is the one with cable the one with cross uh, triple crochet the second one is with back post double crochet over the stitches that we we have here the third one is with front post double crochet and the four one, fourth one is with back post double crochet. So here in the next row we will do again cables and we will repeat these four rounds until we will finish the yoke part. Okay, so I'm at the end of the yoke. Now it's time to separate the sleeves and working only the uh, body. We made 18 rows, rounds, because I forgot to tell you before to skipping the video through here that uh, we made 18 rows. Or you uh, will make as many rows as you need until the chest of your sweater has the circumference of your chest or a few centimeters more. Now we will keep to um, start the round in the corner. In this way we will keep the joining seam on, a, on one side of the sweater, not in the center of the back or something. So it will be less visible if you have problem with that. So here is a method that you can do it even if you are working another top-down sweater with a raglan technique. So we are starting with chain 2 and then one partial double crochet in the corner, in the chain 2 space. Then we are skipping the stitches for the sleeve. And in the next corner we are doing a second partial double crochet and then yarn over and pull the yarn through all stitches and we will continue from here working the stitches that we have uh, by the way you from now you can cut the yarn for the sleeve sleeves and you will work only with this light gray you'll have to keep working on the front side the rows uh, the rounds that you need to keep the cables running let's just say like that now we are at the second corner here and we proceed the same so one partial double crochet in the first corner 
then another partial double crochet in the next corner and we are skipping the stitches for the sleeve and after that after the joining uh, round we will just uh, have to keep repeating the four rounds that we have uh, as a repeated pattern the ones with cables until we are getting on the desired length of the sweater i made in a total for the body so uh, with this uh, separating round i made uh, 33 rounds for the sweater that you saw in the pictures if you want to do it longer or shorter a crop size or a longer size you can just add or uh, make less rounds now let's see one more time what is about the cables here but like i said you will just have to repeat the four rounds that uh, we did before only that this time working only on the body of the sweater we won't have the sleeves so we won't work with uh, uh, both colors anymore we will just work with the main color meaning this light blue i'm ending the round here and i wanted to show you how uh, the round ends so just to join with the slip stitch with the first uh, double crochet meaning this cluster here that we did at the beginning of the row and then chain two and turn this chain two at the beginning of the row doesn't count as a stitch so we will do one double crochet in the same stitch then we will continue with our pattern pay attention that this is the first stitch so uh, don't end the round in that stitch because otherwise you will increase the number of stitches and oh here we are again at the cables I just wanted to, to show you one more time this uh, round because I found it uh, the more difficult. So here on the first set of cables we are doing first the one that are uh, behind and then the, the one that are showing in uh, on the right side of the sweater. And this is the second round of uh, the set of four that we have to repeat. On my blog, you'll also find a stitch chart with uh, these four rounds. Maybe it will help you to, if you are more used to follow a stitch chart. Then you'll also uh, will find some measurements diagram if you want to, uh, I don't know, make this sweater in another size. Uh, pay attention that this sweater is a closer fit so if you want it to be larger you will just have to add uh, more rounds on the yoke or why not more rounds on the collar on the front side and back side but if you are adding on the collar that means that you will have a larger collar so maybe you don't want that so the main idea is to keep continue and working more rounds on the yoke more rounds on the yoke means that you'll have a larger sweater but also with larger sleeves so if you want that your sleeve won't be that large then you'll have to start with less uh, stitches for the sleeve this is the the main idea i will uh, all these uh, tips i will uh, write them down on the blog post that uh, you'll have it already right down on the blog post and you have the, the link in the description below and again we are doing this round in back post double crochet and then we will continue to work the rounds and repeating the set of four rounds until we are getting to the desired length or if you want to make it in the same size uh, I made 33 rounds 
I didn't finish the um, uh, after finishing the cables on the bottom you'll just have to make a few rounds oh, again after the rounds with cables I did two rounds with back post and front post double crochet and then one round before the rib band just in uh, just in double crochet okay so keep continuing and we will meet at the end of the body of the sweater meaning here so I just did uh, two rounds after the round with cables then one round just in double crochet and adding adding the rib band uh, in the this dark color that I used for the sleeves I made one sleeve getting on the length that I uh, wanted but I will show you a little bit later how you can finish the, the sleeve now just uh, let me show you how you can uh, start it so we will start the sleeve uh, in the same way as we proceed on the joining uh, on the separating row so we are starting here in one corner Make sure that you are working on the wrong side so chain 2 chain 2 doesn't count as a stitch then one partial double crochet in the same corner and then move to the next corner and make one partial double crochet then yarn over and pull the yarn through all stitches You'll have a little gap here, but you can uh, add a few stitches at the end. Then we will continue with one double crochet in each stitch around until we are getting to the end of the row. We will work on the sleeve without decreases, so only one stitch in uh, every stitch uh, of the previous round. Now we are joining with the first cluster that we did at the beginning of the row and we continue repeating this row until we get to the desired length of the sleeve. I made 26 uh, rows in total but if you want uh, a shorter sleeve or a longer sleeve you can do as many rounds as you want or why not if you want a uh, uh, short sleeve t-shirt or cable sweater then uh, you can let the sleeves as they are after finishing the yoke now let's see after um, we get to the desired length how we continue and how we are doing the cuffs you see that the sleeve is uh, pretty large at the end if you want uh, you can let it like this if it doesn't bothering you if you want to have uh, smaller cuffs then you have to decrease I did that on the first round that we are working here with one double crochet skip one one double crochet if you want you can do um, two double crochet clusters so two double crochet work together at the end you'll have the same number of stitches so now in this round I'm working one double crochet, skip one, one double crochet. And we will keep repeating this pattern to the end of the round. Joining with the first stitch here. Now, if the sleeve still is large, you can continue and uh, decrease more this time I think it will be too much to just uh, decrease with one stitch at every two stitches so I did two double crochet skip one this time but I have smaller cuffs um, pay attention that is uh, after this round after this part pattern the cuffs are becoming uh, smaller quite smaller because I have uh, my hand is uh, pretty small here but you can um, choose another pattern i don't know three double crochet and skip one or four double crochet and skip one the one that you think that uh, it will get you to the uh, the desired size and after that you'll only have to 
make the ribbed I make the ribbed band with uh, the lighter color you can make uh, I made uh, one more row one double crochet in each stitch with this lighter color and then I made uh, four more rounds in front pose double crochet and back pose double crochet alternating the these two stitches I made just four rows but if you want uh, that your cuffs to be higher or band to be higher wider you can add more rounds or as many as you wish and after finishing this part basically the our springtime cable sweater is done only a few things to do like uh, waving the ends that we have and everything is done so I really 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 want to uh, try the sweater don't forget to tag me on media just to uh, see the picture and featuring you if uh, if you like it and I just enjoy making that and I hope you will too thanks for watching